Hello, I'm Bill Mance, and uh, thank you again for joining us here for Jackson County Close-Up. Uh, we're, uh, we're still working through our uh, Law & Order uh, series, and it's just been a wonderful series of explaining to people how uh, our, our kind of system works here in Jackson County. We've met some amazing people, and we got we have another one today, and this is uh, um, out of the District Attorney's Office. It is our Deputy District Attorney, Alyssa Klausman. So thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me the chronic failure to appear program. Give us an idea of A, what that is for people, and then and B, how it's kind of affecting um, your office and the value that it has to, to your role in the, in the criminal justice system. It was started by Sheriff Sickler a few months ago. And basically what we're trying to do here is reduce the burden on the court system and also the jail um, that's created when people fail to appear for a court date. So, um, you know, our jail is generally always full at this point. And so we have a lot of folks who have multiple open cases, but aren't necessarily currently lodged in the jail. So they're expected to show up for a court date, but most, you know, quite frequently, frequently <laughs> we have issues um, with people failing to appear. And when someone fails to appear for a court date, a warrant goes out for them. Um, and so we had multiple people who had multiple cases with multiple warrants and Sheriff Sickler started thinking of how we can start to work on this issue. And so what he came up with is that we have some designated beds at the jail. Okay. The court provides uh, the DA's office, law enforcement agencies, and a few other people with a list of the top 50 chronic offenders. Law enforcement agencies get that list, and when they come into contact with those folks, they uh, arrest them on their warrants, and then uh, they are lodged at the jail until their cases are resolved. When someone is lodged at the jail, the jail notifies our office so that we can immediately get to work resolving those qu cases as quickly as possible. So literally, you're making sure that they make their court appearance when they traditionally do not. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and we're trying to do it as, like I said, as quickly as possible. Our goal isn't to, you know, have these folks sitting in the jail for a long period of time. We just really want to um, facilitate getting those cases wrapped up so that you know they can get the resources that they need once they're uh, sentenced and so that we can start to, like I said, reduce the burden on the court system. Give us the stats. What's happening with that? So we don't have um, any sort of money figures yet. We know obviously it will be saving the county money, but as far as the numbers of cases um, that have been resolved as a result of this, we've had 28 uh, defendants who have been picked up on these types of warrants, which actually represents 181 uh, different criminal cases, and that's a total of 1,108 failure to appears. Wow. So yeah. So that's yeah. That's having a big impact. Yeah. And just yeah. a few short months. So it's a great program, I think, for, for everyone in the system involved. I think everyone um, is really benefiting from having this um, process sort of sped up a little bit.